Hi guys, so today I just wanted to take you through installing WordPress um, using Afrihost as your domain provider. Um, Afrihost is our leading ISP in South Africa and most people uh, are using it. Um, so this was something that I struggled with that I couldn't find any content on so I thought this would be helpful for those of you who are just getting started with WordPress and who are trying to create your own websites so if you so the first thing you need to do is you need to head over to afrios.com and you need to sign up for a hosting package so you'll just come over here and you'll You'll come to hosting and you will choose uh, shared Linux web hosting. And if you click on there, you'll go down to the bottom and you can choose, you can compare the different packages that they offer. You get the silver, you get the gold and the platinum. If you're just starting out, the silver should be fine. Um, you'll get your free domain for the year, your setup fee, and it'll cover some storage space and some email accounts, a database, and so on. You'll click on sign up now, and it'll take you forward, and you can just carry on with the process of signing up, and it'll cost you about 49 Rand a month. Just carry on. And if it's a new domain, if you're transferring a domain, or if you're self-managing it. So for us, we're just going to click on new domain. Um, we want them to host our, doma our domain. And then from here, we'll just, we'll just type in um, whatever domain you're looking for. And if it's not there, it will actually, it will just tell you on the right hand side uh, if it's available or not. And... Once you, you find a, an available domain, you'll carry on to, to checking out. And then once that's done, um, you'll just need to log in to your, your client center or your client zone, which is Afrihost's customer portal. Um, if we just go over here, let me just go back. So I already um, performed this, so I can just go straight into my client zone, and this is something that you'll be able to do once you've you've signed up. Every every host, and then you just cl uh, click on client zone, and then log in. And then this will be your portal and you'll go to hosting and all your domains will be uh, shown over here and you'll go over here to your Linux hosting and then on this screen it will show if your account status is active or not. If it's not active you can just get in touch with them, they're, they're quite good with their, with their customer service. You can just WhatsApp them, call them, or email them. Um, so from here, you need to go to Website Manager. This will log you into your to your Website Manager, and this will take you to the back end of your domain. And this is what's hosted on these servers, and then you'll come to the bottom over here. You can see there's different links that you can you'll find with different functions so we want to go to soft to coolest apps installer so we want to go here we'll click on there and then you'll come to this screen over here <coughs> and then you'll come over here and you'll install WordPress and then <clears throat> this will install on your on your domain and then that then you've basically installed Wor WordPress on your domain and then from there once that's done 
Uh, to get to that you'll just go to your website domain name and you will uh, add a f to get to the dashboard um, sorry that's the wrong one we just go to the dashboard so all you do is you'll just go to whatever your domain name is and you'll add a forward slash WP dash admin so let me just show you that again it's WP forward slash admin and then that will take you to your your login screen um, don't forget that you need to to set up your your credentials to log in um, that's very important um, so from here you'll log in and this will take you to your WordPress dashboard and this is where you will develop your website there's plenty of tutorials online a lot of free tutorials it does get technical but um, they are easy and simple methods to doing it to, to developing your first website um, I've tried to de, um, create some videos on that you can just check it out uh, or you can just search on Google and and you'll be able to find whatever you need everything's out there um, if you the first thing you'll probably need to do if you come in here is just to go to settings to general and then just to to set up your your your, your website your title tagline and your general settings to get started with you go to your dashboard that that will have all your 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 quick stats that you need for your website but uh, yeah to get started that's how you do it if you guys found this helpful please consider subscribing um, until next time cheers